Good day, YouTube. This is just a quick unscripted comparison of the latest release of MX Linux 18.2 on the left and Ubuntu 19.04 on the right. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because MX Linux is, uh, seems to be based on a lot of polls, one of the most popular distributions out there, but to be honest, I've only heard of it in the last number of years there, and it's slightly or slowly creeping up the polls there. And uh, so, probably what I'll do is have a, just a bit of a look at it uh, straight off the bat. So, as we can see, we've got some version of XFCE, uh, the desktop environment on there, so it's a little bit more lightweight that way. And if we are to scroll down, just to probably confirm that, which I haven't checked yet, but uh, we probably will find out. Oh, in fact, it's right in front of me there anyway, with the NeoFetch uh, listings there. So it is XFC. Good to see. Lightweight. Good. And on the right here, of course, we've got the, the GNOME interface for Ubuntu 19.04. Very standard for Ubuntu in the last uh, couple of releases or so. Now... Straight off the bat with MX Linux, it does look a little bit uh, different to your standard XFC uh, variety of things there. Now it's got a uh, similar thing on the left hand side, the, the sidebar there, but it seems to work just a little bit differently somehow. It's uh, it's kind of like the Windows bar moves to the left, it's, it's a bit odd and... What have we got here? So we've got a massive button for the, uh, for the power off which is... Not exactly ideal in terms of design. I'm not sure why everyone's loving it that much there. But what we'll do is we'll also move across to the uh, the window manager here as well, sometimes known as the file manager as written here. Now, uh, if we go to the... Uh, let's have a look. It's got the Thuna file manager. So a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more simple. Uh, it doesn't do everything, but it does most things you'd expect from your uh, modern-day Linux file manager there. So nothing too exciting, just another lightweight file manager. And on the right, we've got the uh, oh, the Nautilus, the GNOME files. It goes by many names, uh, file manager or Windows manager for Ubuntu as well. Uh, let's see, have a look at uh, the kernel also showing up here, 4.19 uh, versus the uh, kernel 5.0 of 5.x on Ubuntu. So obviously uh, a generation better here, better for uh, more recent, later hardware, that sort of thing, hardware supports, and probably the biggest reason reason for the uh, the kernel here is that uh, the, the older kernel is that this is actually running on some type of uh, Debian stable base. So it is going to be perhaps a more stable distribution, that might be fair to say, but a little bit older in the mix there as well. So yeah, it's just interesting to see too. Uh, let's have a look at the RAM usage. Uh, let's see what's going on there. So if I just do the htop command on each of these, we will find a noticeable difference here. So we're almost running about at about half the RAM for MX Linux, which isn't too bad to see. So about 430 megabytes of RAM. Nothing else is open on this machine. That's really all that's there. On the Ubuntu, it has come down in recent years, but still you know, probably about yeah 80% higher, nearly 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 double there, I suppose. Uh, still works great on, on old and new machines alike, and I'm sure this one would work on a great old laptop of mine, but uh, yeah, it is what it is really, so that's about that there. Uh, you've got a lot of software options here, as you might be able to see, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, something of course, as I always say, I don't really get into, because uh, you know you can pretty much install whatever you want on most of these machines, whether it's Linux or... Uh, well, whether it's Ubuntu or MX Linux in this case, yeah. So, a bit of a quick unscripted comparison review of the two uh, operating systems. Nice to see, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a comment, subscribe, do all those nice things, and thanks for watching.